Yeah, Mule, a Navy midshipman from Eight Mile is waiting to find out if the sexual crime he's accused of will go to a court martial. 21 year old Eric Graham is one of three midshipmen accused in the crime. A female midshipman claims she was sexually assaulted during an alcohol fueled party last year. Local 15's Derek Rose spoke to Graham's attorneys today. Derek, a lot of questions about the accuser's version of what happened. Even her own friends have doubt. They do, Kim. You know, the hearing was the equivalent of the grand jury in civilian court. And not only did some of those friends of the accuser take the stand and contradict her, the accuser spoke from the stand as well. And some of her own words are now being used against her. During the unusually long hearing, which lasted eight days, the accuser, who was now 21, claimed she drank so much that night she has little memory of what happened and only came to believe she was assaulted after hearing rumors and seeing messages about her the next day on social media. She told investigators she did have consensual sex with two men that night. Testimony revealed those two men are two of the accused, one of whom, Joshua Tate, is the accuser's ex-boyfriend. This was a girl that was, she'd gotten drunk. She did some things that she was embarrassed about and regretted and had some fears regarding her reputation as a result and made up a story to save face. Chip Harrington represents Eric Graham, a former football standout at Blunt High School, who told investigators the accuser performed oral sex on him. But his lawyer contends the accuser's lack of memory does not mean there was no consent. Those words backed up by the testimony of friends of the accuser friend of hers who was questioned on the witness stand and, uh, and confirmed that yes, the words she used to him were, I, I did what I did and I wanted to do it. A wiretap conversation between the accuser and the ex-boyfriend apparently shows she tried to stop the investigation. I need you to say that nothing happened and I hate to ask you to lie, but I don't want this to go anywhere. I don't believe that there is a DA in the country that on the evidence they said they had against my client would have sent a case to the grand jury. There's just no evidence that he is guilty of any form of non-consensual sexual act. And the attorney for the accuser did not respond to a request for an interview. The case is now in the hands of the investigating officer who will offer a recommendation to the superintendent of the Naval Academy. And it will be up to that superintendent to decide if the case will go to court martial. Kim.